Hello, hello everybody, this is Grimmy as bringing you The Strength. This is an indie horror game that is uh, out on Steam right now, and it was made by the same developer that made Silence of the Sleep, which was a pretty cool game. Um, if you don't know what that game is about, it was basically uh, a game that was very similar in style to the Cat Lady. And it was a pretty cool game, if you ask me. And knowing that the same developer developed this, I think this is going to be a pretty cool game as well. He also has another game coming out called The Human Gallery, which I'm really looking forward to. Again, similar game style. So without further ado, let's get started on the strengths. I don't have any saves, but yeah, sure, go ahead. My humanity was for sale. And I sold it. That very moment sent to me into decay. This is my story. And these are my regrets. So this is apparently about a lawyer who's, um... Who has a pretty shitty job of seizing people's properties. And he doesn't like it, obviously. Excuse me. I'm looking for Mrs. Goodwin. She's not here! Go away! Guess it's not this one. What a friendly neighborhood. Yay! Anyone home? <laughs> Who's there? Mrs. Goodwin? Uh, uh, no, she, she leaves next to the door. Thank you, and goodbye. Okay. How about this door? I'm looking for Mrs. Goodwin. Is this the right address? No! Get lost! Huh. I could swear she lives somewhere here. Kinda guessing sh this person is lying to me. Yes, without a doubt. It's gotta be one of these doors. It smells of blueberry pie. This must be the right apartment. I knew it. I, I, I told you she does not li li live here. Madam, I know it's you. Could you please let me in? Uh, uh, I'm sorry. C come in, please. Oh, Mrs. Goodman, come on. Don't do this. You don't have to lie to me. Madam, I know. I'm so sorry I have to do this, madam. Can't you get me a little more time? I can pay the debt if you give me another week, please. I... I'm sorry. I hate doing this. But I must seize this property. But uh, where would I go? This is all I have. I'm sorry, madam. I I'm sorry, I shouldn't be crying like this. There are just so many memories here. I understand, madam. Oh, where are my manners? Would you like to have a cup of tea? I'd rather have a cup of coffee, if possible. What are your manners, man? You come here, come here to seize this woman's property and then you ask for a cup of coffee. If she offers you tea, you take tea. If she offers you alien urine, you drink alien urine. What are your manners, man? Oh, of course. Give me a second, young man. Seriously? Oh, yeah, by the way, I'm seizing your property. And also, go make me a cup of coffee, please. Might as well look around while waiting. And also, yeah, let me rummage through your stuff while you're, uh, doing things. It's a rocking chair. Every granny has one. What else do we have to check out? I can't check out that photo. Can I? No. Uh... Yeah, I can't check anything else out. So, what do you want to check out, buddy? No? Nothing? I can't leave now, even if I want it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there we go. It's a wedding photo of Mr. and Mrs. Goodman. Though, I believe she's a widow now. Oh man, I shouldn't be doing this. Yeah, I mean... Oh uh, yeah, we really should not be doing this. Hey, maybe we should be going. Thank you very much, Mrs. Goodman. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, dear. I'm afraid I've run out of coffee. Can I get you something else instead? No, thank you, madam. Listen, you'll have to move out by the end of the month. I'm very truly sorry, madam. Well, I guess I only have my I have only myself to blame. Yes, well, I need to get going, madam. Take care. Wait a second, young man. It's awfully dark out there. Take this lantern. I guess I won't be needing it anymore. Oh, 
Well, thank you, madam. Yay! I have a lantern. I really must go now. Take care. Bye bye, dear. Oh. Cool. Amnesia style. I don't know what century this is in, but apparently it's, uh. It, it requires a lantern. Alright, well, let's go. Let's get out of here. Nothing happened. Power seems to be on, though. Weird. I just want to get away from here. Uh... Hey, hey you, you want to go in there? Okay. This is probably a very bad idea. I agree! Why are we doing this? Why are we going into this apartment? Who could perhaps shoot us or there could be something bad there. The train does not save auto save progress. Save progress with the save us. Okay, cool. That means something bad might happen. It's locked. I need a key. Whoa. <laughs> I turned off there was a power button. Unplug it. Oh shit. There's a note. What comes around goes around. Fuck it. Oh shit. Shotgun. Damn. Either that or a werewolf came in and he was trying to shoot the werewolf, but instead it bit its face off. That's also a possibility. For a kitchen. What about this door? Oh, bathroom. Oh shit, it's freezing here. Why? There's something in the pad tub. Let's see. Whew, it's cold. There. I found an ice cube. This might come in handy. Why? Press hold, hold space to open inventory. E to select the item you just found. Oh, we have an item active. Price will attempt to use that item whenever. Uh, try to use the ice cube at the bathtub. I won't put it back there. If you want to search or examine objects and surroundings, open your inventory and select an empty item slot. Okay, cool. Thanks for the lesson. Uh, can I go? Can I go now? Now try searching the bathtub again. Why? I don't need another ice cube. Yeah, I don't. What, why do I even need this ice cube? <laughs> I don't even... No. What the hell was that? I, I don't know. I don't know what... what uh, okay, I wonder if there's something inside this ice cube. I'll stick it in the oven. And now we wait. <laughs> okay, put it to 300 and let's see what comes out. Probably water. I knew it. You found a key. <laughs> really? Okay, thank you ice cube. Uh, what, uh, the first door, I think, was the one, um, that needed a key. Ouch. So, oh. <laughs> Yay, let's go in. I unlocked the door. It has blood all over it. That sound again. Sounds like a T-Rex. Seriously. Is it that kind of a game? Stock markets, economy, trading. There are lots of books about money. It's empty. Hmm. Okay. There's something here. Finders Keepers. I found a horror book. Okay. Uh. Why am I stealing this guy's property? Really? Man, I'll keep the book myself to myself for now. But why do I have this book? This bookcase full of horror books. I'll place the book here. Huh? What's that? Another book popped out. I think I know where to put this. Oh. Okay, I think we should be moving. Finance book. All these books are money. This book will fit here perfectly. Let's see. Done. Oh. Oh. Music, creepy music. Oh. Shit. What the f Who the hell are you guys? Son! Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. McDade, Britain, and more. We already heard you kick that expired fart out. Job well done, son. You post your first trial. Happy to hear that, sirs. Although Mrs. Goodwin seemed like a very nice old... Nonsense! Nonsense! Nonsense. There is no justice injustice in the law, son. You did the right thing, son. Soon you will be one of us. One of us! One of us? McDade, Britain, more and price! I like the sound of it! Thank you, sirs. Are you ready to make some serious money? Money! Money! 
I guess I am. You only have two more names to take care of. Seize their properties in the name of the law. In the name of the law. In the name of the law. And you shall be granted a partnership. I will. That's the spirit, son. Off you go now. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your names. What was it? Uh, ass bag, douche bag, and dick bag. Okay, good to meet you all. Really? So yeah, I'm guessing this is why I am working for these douche holes. I felt both joy and sorrow. Soon I will get my partnership. I'm probably guessing you're not gonna, trust me. But at the price of my humanity, would it be worth it? If they make you a partner, which I highly doubt, they're probably just yanking your chain, ouch. Huh, how did it get here? There's another note. There's an elephant in the room. Are you being literal or metaphorical? I know that saying. I do too. Oh, I think it's being literal. I mean, yeah, okay, so we should run. Awake. Christ. Arrogance. Arrogance. Money. I think this thing is gonna catch up with us. Vanity. Guilt. Yeah, I think we are about to die, so Christ, you should run faster, bro. Really, really run. Elephants are supposed to be nice! That's what we learned from Dumbo, right? I guess not. I think that elephant just killed me. I think that was supposed to happen, though. <laughs> Oh, okay. It was all a dream. Or something like that. Huh. Is it morning already? What a day that was. Huh. <sighs> I still feel horrible about Mrs. Goodman. Oh well. I need some coffee to wake up. What is it with you and coffee, dude? Seriously. Stop making Starbucks rich. All sorts of weird junk here. I need coffee first. I'll just suit up a bit. Okay, princess. Fine, let's go get your coffee. And also save. At the same time. Price's home living room. It looks like a pretty shitty apartment, Price. No offense, but... I mean, if you're doing this shit for no money, then... I gotta say. I need some water for the coffee. I'll use this coffee pot to get the water. Where's the water? Not long anymore and I get to move out from this dump. Uh... So... Do we go to the... Where? To the toilets? Maybe I'll get some water here. Brr, I want coffee. And it started raining. Are you kidding me? One of those mornings, I swear to you. So do I have water or, or not? Because I'm not going to get it from the toilet. I mean, that's just asking for trouble. I need... Oh, uh, maybe the rain? No? I think that's a good idea, Price. Don't you think? Okay, maybe we'll get water from somewhere here. Not sure how hygienic this is, but man gotta, man gotta get his coffee. There, I have some water now. Oh, from the leaking pipe. Oh, <laughs> that's good. Yeah, again, not very hygienic, but... <laughs> I mean, you know, I guess you gotta have your coffee, even at the expense of diseases. Good to know. Well, I mean, to be honest, we'll boil it. I'm not gonna throw it away. Finally. I'll put the water here. Okay. I'll watch some telly while the coffee's brewing. I hope you're gonna, like, seriously heat that shit up, or, you know. Where's the television? No, oh, there it is. It's still a big place, though, at the very least. Oh, yeah, it's thundering. I shouldn't risk it. Get a surge protector, dude. What was that? I think it came from the bathroom. <laughs> I don't want to find out, though. Maybe it's a tiger. <laughs> we had an elephant, now we have a tiger. There's nothing here. Must be my imagination. The coffee should be ready by now. If you say so. What the f <laughs> <laughs> This game don't, doesn't even try to jump scare, but it it's, it does. It just does. <laughs> <laughs> you are right, dear. How silly that day was. Oh, look, dear, it's a little boy. I can see that one. Hey, son, you don't mind we took some coffee already. Although it tastes a little funny. <laughs> yeah, it might be filled with typhoid fever and all that, but it's okay. 
No, no, not at all. Are you alright, Tio? You look so pale. Aren't you supposed to be, you know, dead? Of course we are dead. What a silly thing to say. But even though we are already gone, does it make you crazy to hear our words of wisdom? I suppose not. And that's exactly why we are here. So listen to us, son, and let your conscience do the talking. Sounds reasonable. We heard some, well, unpleasant things about you, dear. That is correct. We are worried about you, me and your father. Are you getting greedy, son? It's not too late to make a change. Look, I'm not proud of all the things I've done. But look at this cranky apartment. I just want to be successful in my life. We understand, son. But at the expense of other, other people? Think about it, son. You are better than that. I don't know. I worked hard for this. And by the... I'm looking for Mrs. Goodwin. Is this the right address? No, it's not. What the hell is going on? And also, there's blood raining. Let's save. Uh... Oh. And there's blood dripping everywhere. And Mrs. Goodwin is gone. Hold it together. It's only my mind playing tricks on me. Yes, it must be. Okay, I better get dressed. Okay, get dressed. We didn't have our coffee though, Price. Are you gonna be able to survive without your coffee? It was rough yesterday, but I decided to carry on. Though I would lie to you if I said I didn't think of Mrs. Goodwin. Anyways, Mr. Taylor was the next name on my list. He lived in a forest as a hermit. He had no debt, but the city wanted to expropriate his property. They built a highway there. I traveled to him so I could seize his property. Well, goody. I'm sure he'll be happy about that. No trespassers. Oh, <laughs> great. He might, you know, shotgun us to death. Yeah, that'll be nice. His cabin should be here somewhere. In the middle of these creepy woods. That's... What a nice way to live. To be honest, it wouldn't be so bad to live in a creepy-ass woods, I guess. Okay, I saved the progress. <laughs> Good to know, Price. Good to know. Ah, there it is. Alright, and we'll actually explore his... That next time, guys. Uh, I'm gonna cut it here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the game. I certainly am. It's pretty cool. <laughs> the jump scares where there are no really jump scares. <laughs> that was pretty. That was a pretty good touch. Uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.